Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. We have a lot of people today. I like that. Hello. Hi, Angie. Hi, Pedrina. Hello. Hi, Alexis. Hey, Emerson. Hi. Ricardo Gabriel. Carmen, how are Hi, you today? Teacher. Good evening. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? We are in the last week of classes. Yay. We're about to finish the model. Ya vamos a terminar vacation, el vacation. Yes. My, that's cool. That's cool. We're going to have vacation the whole week. Espero que ya hayan enviado sus papeles para el siguiente módulo. Si es que pasa. No, me entiendo. Yes, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hoy sí, teacher. Hoy sí, teacher. Hoy sí, teacher. ¿Cómo dice? Pero, eh, no, entendí. ¿Cómo? ¿El qué? ¿Qué me dijo? When, when is it starting the next module? If you send all the papers and everything is fine, we should start on April 5th after vacation. No, April 6th. No sé qué día se empieza, si el lunes o el martes. En las escuelas se empieza el lunes. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Or, or, or Monday or Tuesday. Sería right uh, after vacation. Pero si hay algún delay de todo eso, le van a avisar por WhatsApp o le van a avisar por el correo electrónico. Para que empecemos ya, ¿cómo se llama? A enviar los papeles. Se supone que los enviaron la semana pasada. Se supone. Así es, teacher. Ok, very good. So, we're going to start. We have a lot of people today. I like that. Thank you so much for uh, being on time to the class. It's very important to be on time. So we can take advantage mostly because today we have a lot of activities to do right with some simple present and present continuous activities and the unit four right today is unit four we're going to start with that in today's class number 16. so let's go ahead and start working vamos a comenzar ya chicos let me show you right now my computer for unit 16. Give me a moment. Okay. Now here, right? Can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. Now we have yes, my computer teacher, yes. here. We're going to start with the unit. It's called Unit 4 Tech Support. Tech Support, that's the name of the unit that we're going to use. And we have four, well, three competencies that we're going to practice. The first one, make a phone call to report a problem, okay? We're going to practice basic phrases that we use on the phone, the basic phrases. Also, we're going to fill out a complete form Right? and make polite requests. Right? Fill out a complaint form and make polite requests. This happens because when we work at the workplace, most of the time we have problems with the things, right? with the things that we need to use. For example, in, my, in, in another work that I have in another job, right? sometimes I have problems with uh, the platform that we use for teaching. Right? So I need to call the person to help me out. I say, hi, I need help. I don't know what to do, right? So it's the same thing here. Now, when I have problems here with Zoom, I need to call someone, hey, I have a problem, right? So we're going to do that today. So the name of this class is Video Conferencia Numero 16, Ways to Report a Problem. Ways to report a, pro a problem. And well, before we continue with that, I would like you to tell me the answers for this question. Okay, because we have three exercises that are pending. Hay tres ejercicios que no hicimos. Y lo vamos a hacer hoy. Right? Because we need to do those exercises to practice. So we have this. We were talking about simple present and present continuous. 
I would like you to tell me real quick, really, really quick, what are the difference between simple present and present continuous? Necesito que se recuerden en estos momentos o que saquen de su mente la semana pasada. What are the differences between simple present and present progressive? ¿Cuáles son las diferencias? I need you to think. I'll give you 30 seconds because you cannot use simple present and present progressive at the same time. Okay, Carmen. El, teacher. Yes? Es, es que el, el, el presente progressive se le agrega el ING al verbo. Y en el otro, el verbo está en su forma natural. Es una oh. diferencia. That is one difference. Very good, Pedrina. In one of the forms in the structure, in present progressive, we use ing. Very good. And in the simple present, we have in the base form or la forma natural del verbo. Very good, Pedrina. Excellent job. Carmen, you go. Yes, we use a uh, simple present for routines. Only okay. for routines, and you can use the auxiliary do and that's for make a question, for example. Very well. And a present, present continuous or present progressive uh, is for action in the moment that you are speaking and you use the ING form. And when you are a, make a question, you don't need the auxiliary does or do because you are using the, the verb to be, for example, is you, is, are, is, is he, are you, etc. Exactly, very good. Very good, that is a complete answer. Thank you so much, Carmen and Pedrina. Those are the differences between simple present and present progressive. Very good. Simple present, routines, habits, daily activities, right? That is simple present. Present progressive, things that are happening now at the moment of speaking, right? Very well. Now we are going to put here, we're going to do our practices. Vamos a terminar con los dos ejercicios que tenemos pendientes, and then we'll move to the phone calls, okay? Now, what do you have in number three for this exercise? I want to know how much tickets cost. Right, I told you that that is, that is in simple present, right? I want to know how much tickets cost, right? So tell me, tell me right there, the answer for number three. Yes, Carmen? How, uh, how much are the tickets cost? Okay, how much are the tickets cost. Okay. Now, Carmen, I want to ask you one question. Okay. Can you use, in simple present, can you use the verb be to make questions? Because you told me that you have to use do and does. Yes, yes. How much does the tickets cost? Okay. How much? Okay. Now. The tickets, is it plural or singular? Ooh, how much do the tickets? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Very good. How much do tickets cost? Very good. That is the answer for that. Very good. Now, it's Monday, don't worry. <laughs> now, Sandra, what do you have in number four? Mm -hmm. It's hold, present progressive. Hold, we use for 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 our how are you getting there? How are you getting there? Very good. How are you getting there? Very good. How are you getting there? Excellent job. Very good, Sandrita. Angie, number five. <clears throat> I want, no, what time is? What time? 
It's simple uh, present. What I am, are you? The simple, simple present. And the, the, simple. the question is to sound similar as the example. I, I want to know when the festival finishes. I want, ah, okay, okay. Um, I want, I, it's. Can I use you, is Miguel, with simple present? No lo traduzca. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, um, Uh, what time finish the festival? What time finish the festival? The okay. Festival. Now, let me ask you this, Angie. What is the auxiliary that you use in simple present to make questions? Uh, 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 um, the, um, that, do, do? Do? Okay, you use do. The festival. the festival. What is the subject pronoun for the festival, Angie? Um, you. It's you. The festival is a person. It, uh, it, <laughs> it, uh, is the festival I, a person? I, 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 I. Is the festival a person? El festival es una persona, Angie. No, 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 it. It is it, okay. It and is, with it, it, with it, do. do I use do or does? Do. Does, do. does. Does. What time does finish? What time does finish? What time does? It, it. The, the festival finish. It. What time does the festival finish? No podemos poner de nuevo it, Angie, porque okay. estaríamos okay. repitiendo el sujeto. Ok, porque ya está el das. No, porque ya está de festival. Ah, ok, ok, ok. okay. No podemos poner what time okay. does the festival it finish, porque the festival and it es lo mismo. Ajá. What time does the what festival What time does the festival finish? Okay. Ok. Now, let me ask you the questions right now, and we're going to Michelle. do a... Uh -huh. Michelle. Yes? Eh, pero si se le puede, si se puede cambiar el festival por el IT. Yes? Sí, verdad? No, no hay yes. ningún, ningún cambio ni nada. No? Okay. Is this it? Okay. Now, let me, let me ask you right now, the questions, okay? Let me ask you the questions here. Where is the festival, Sandrita? What is the festival? Tell me an answer, a possible answer. ¿Cuál sería una posible respuesta es? Where is the festival? Sandrita? The festival is at HPN. The festival finish. Is. The festival finish. No, where is the at festival? Where? Where? Uh, when? The festival is in the park. The festival is in the park. Okay, very good. The festival is in the park. Very good. Which bands are playing? Which bands are playing, Ricardo Gabriel? Mm, which? Uh, <laughs> me caí, no me acuerdo. ¿Qué significa which? Options. Eh, bands. Eh, Van Halen. <laughs> I think you it's see, the same band. Uh, and that was uh -huh. To rock music or anything. Bands are bands. Three. Bands are bands. Las bandas aquí no tienen, puede ser banda de música, rock, cualquiera. Bandas son bandas. Which bands are playing? Eh, 
Bands plays. The bands playing are. Ah, uh, the bands playing are. Uh, mus rock music or music rock. No, okay. I'm asking you for the bands, not for the genre. <laughs> Estoy preguntando por la banda, no por el género de música. Which bands are playing? Es que yo le entiendo que me está preguntando qué bandas van a tocar. Por eso, porque me estoy viendo rock. Which les... bands are playing? The bands are play the bands that are playing are La Sonora Ay, de Nemita y los hermanos Flores. Yes. Okay. Which bands? The bar are playing Los Hermanos Flores y La Sonora de Dinamita. I me copia. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> How much, how much do tickets cost? Concepcion, how much money? How much do tickets cost? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how much do tickets cost? $25. $25, very good. And you can say also the tickets cost $25 or $25. Very good, Concepcion. How are you getting there? How are you getting there, Ana Gabriela? How are you getting there? That's transportation, okay, transportation. Um, How are you the, getting there? Sorry, teacher, es una llamada del trabajo, no, no, no estaba escuchando. Okay, don't worry, okay, don't worry. Eh, Carmen, how are you getting there? Uh, you getting there, you can get, you... I am, you can get uh, there. Um, oh, I am getting there on taxi. By taxi, okay? By taxi. By taxi. I am getting there by taxi, by Uber, by cab. Very good. Very good. And what time does the festival finish? What time does the festival finish, Abidail? The festival finish is 9 p.m. The festival finishes at 9 p.m. Repeat. The festival finishes at fin 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. Very nice. Very good. Excellent, people, excellent. Thank you so much for your answers. Now, we're going to do another exercise with simple present and present progressive, but first, let me take the attendance, okay? Let me take the attendance real quick. So, oops, 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 oops. give me a moment. Vamos a poner la asistencia. Permítanme un segundo, por favor. Don't forget to turn on your cameras for the attendance. Okay. Let's start with Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayor. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria Juarez. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Carmen Lizette Hernandez Escobar. Present. Silvia Jasmín Castro de Chévez. Daniela Mirker Sandoval Avíez. Present. Thank you. Present. Hello. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present, teacher. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Present. Armando. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. 
I'm here. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Abidai Lopez Scott. Thank you. Present, Tisha. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to continue here with the next exercise. Before doing so, I have right now, I'm going to switch to Spanish for a moment. Voy a, me voy a cambiar español por un momento, ahorita que están 15 personas en clases. Esta semana es la última semana de clases de este módulo, ¿ok? Como ustedes pudieron ver, hoy les enviaron un recordatorio de estar pendientes toda esta semana en clases para que se conecten y estén eh, prácticamente los 120 minutos que duran las clases, que es de 8 a 10 de la noche. Y los que se quedan los 10 minutos extra, eso ya es de la hora. Les cuenta para la, la hora eh, extra de la hora privada. Ahora, el, es muy posible que el miércoles o el jueves, entre esos últimos tres días de clase, ya los que estuvieron en el módulo 1 conmigo ya saben, pero los que no han estado, van a recibir ustedes un link para una encuesta, ¿ok? Todos van a recibir un link para una encuesta, ya sea por correo electrónico o por WhatsApp, ¿ok? Por favor, no completen la encuesta ustedes solos, la vamos a completar en clase. Esa la vamos a completar el viernes. Si usted la recibe el jueves o la recibe el viernes por la mañana, ahí téngala, no la conteste, deje su link quietecito y lo vamos a hacer todos juntos para que no tengamos ningún problema con la encuesta eh, que completemos por si tienen alguna duda o por si no les abre, cualquier cosa. Y vamos a tener a alguien aquí a la par también de, de, de Tech Support de Inglés Corporativo que nos va a estar ayudando por si tenemos alguna duda. ¿Okay? Eso es bien importante porque no podemos solo completarla y no mandar la evidencia que ya la completamos. Porque a veces, aunque le enviemos, ahí siempre resultan ciertos problemitas y puede que nos la pidan de nuevo. ¿Okay? Entonces vamos a estar eh, pendientes de recibir la encuesta. La reciben, solo la tienen y la vamos a abrir el, vamos a abrir el link hasta el viernes a la hora que nos corresponde. ¿Ok? ¿Está por clear? Ok, teacher. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Perfecto. La encuesta la van a llenar eh, ustedes. Yo solamente los voy a guiar con los que, cómo acceder, cómo ir trabajando con la encuesta, pero ahí ustedes van a responder eh, a conciencia. Luego, eh, tienen que completar todas las actividades esta semana, por ser la última semana, no podemos dejar las actividades para el sábado. Por favor, porque ya el sábado al mediodía ya tienen que estar las notas y se tienen que enviar. Recuérdense que la otra semana de vacación ya no se pueden enviar las notas para el sábado en la mañana. Tienen que enviarlas por lo menos el viernes en la noche ya tienen que estar listas. ¿Okay? Entonces ya el viernes a las 10 y 10 de la noche ya todos los que terminaron ya yo subo notas en la noche y todos somos felices. right? para no esperar hasta el sábado, porque si esperamos hasta el sábado, tengo una persona que ya terminó todo, así que felicidades a esa persona, ya sabe quién es, y ya terminó todo. Muy bien, con todo, sí, porque eso lo lleva así. Pero el este, los demás, por favor, no podemos dejar estas cosas, usted no es porque no puede dejar estas cosas para el sábado esta semana, porque ya la otra semana se va a quedar atrás para el siguiente módulo, si no envían eh, el día que corresponde. ¿Ok? Eso es pero, bien importante. Siga. ¿Sí? Pero se supone que lo vamos llenando según vamos viendo las clases. Uh -huh. Por eso, el viernes. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El viernes, pero todos los ejercicios, si ustedes se fijan, no son tan eh, complicados. Hasta ahora no he visto notas, notas bajas, que digamos que un 50 o un 60. No. O sea, todos tenemos unas notas muy buenas con las actividades que vamos realizando. Y como le digo, hay una persona que ya completó todo. ¿verdad? Entonces, los ejercicios están eh, bien eh, prácticos para hacer. No voy a decir sencillos porque son en un segundo idioma. No son sencillos, están bien prácticos para completar. Y si tienen eh, alguna duda de los ejercicios, por favor, no se olviden que me pueden enviar una captura de pantalla a mí diciéndome, mire, no entiendo este ejercicio, mire, esto es lo que pasa. Eh, por cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? pero eso sí, 
el único día que tal vez no le responda es domingo, ¿verdad? O ya que sea, sea muy noche. De lo contrario, ahí voy a estar pendiente del chat o de cualquier pregunta que ustedes tengan acerca de los ejercicios. Miren, no entiendo esto, no lo puedo resolver. O what, ¿ok? Ahora, esos son los anuncios para hoy. Tratemos de estar siempre todos los días a las 8 como estuvimos hoy. Muy bien, hoy no solo estuvimos dos alumnos. <ríe> hoy estuvimos más y podemos comenzar a tiempo. Right? So, let's continue with the next exercise. Or do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No, teacher, no? thank you. No? You're welcome. Le entendí al 100% hoy. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Por qué en inglés? Todo. Todo. <laughs> Le entendí al 100%. Se pasa. <laughs> thank you, teacher. <laughs> Feliz yo por entenderla. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Yo tengo una duda. Diga. Es la más fácil, ¿verdad, Angie? Charmi, Gabriel. Yeah. Arriba, en la, en la lámina anterior. Uh -huh. Ahí. The previous slide. Estamos, uh -huh. Yes. Este, ahí estamos ocupando ambos, el verbo to be, uh, el verbo do, do and does, ¿no? Yes. We using present progressive, we using simple present, and we using the verb be. Estamos combinando todo. Porque lo, los hemos aprendido, los hemos aprendido de forma individual. Sin embargo, en la vida real, en el contexto real, tenemos que aprender a mezclarlos. Pero cuando hablemos, no vamos a hablar, ahora yo voy a hablar solo en simple present, no. Cuando vengamos a hablar, tenemos que utilizar diversas eh, funciones o, o el contexto que nos va a pedir va a ser distinto entonces tenemos que saber cómo contestar en cualquiera de esos tres por eso es que vamos a hacer un ejercicio que incluye sobre todo present progressive en simple present ok recuérdense si es una rutina si es una actividad diaria si es algo que ya está planificado tiene que ser simple present Okay. Si es algo que está pasando en el momento, going to be present progressive. Okay. Now, let's do, let's do number one. We have this one. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Vamos a ver todo lo, no vamos a, a solamente eh, tratar de entender las palabras, sino el contexto de lo que estamos leyendo. Okay. Let's read number one. It says, Hans, Hans es un nombre. Hans, go to a football match in Berlin tomorrow. Okay, I have the word here. Hans, go to a football match in Berlin tomorrow. What do you think is going to be the use here? Ana Gabriela, present progressive or simple present? Um, present, progress, present progressive. Okay, very good. And what would be the answer then if I have present progressive? Play. Okay, the verb is go. Playing. Okay. Going. The verb is go. Going. Is going. Ken is going to a football match in Berlin tomorrow. Very good. Then it says Germany, Colombia. What do you think is here, right? The football match is tomorrow. What is the uh, option here, Ricardo Gabriel? Germany play Colombia. Playing. What? Playing. Only playing? Uh, Germany is playing with Colombia. Is Col playing. Is playing Colombia. Germany is playing Colombia. Remember that we are using uh, English and in Spanish, we will say, uh, Alemania está jugando con Colombia, con. But in English, we don't say con. Germany is playing Colombia. Colombia is playing Germany, mm. right? Very good. No le entendí ahí. No, es que él me decía que es Germany is playing with Colombia. Y no se dice with, 
porque en español sí sería mm. como un calco de español a inglés, es decir, con. El alemán está jugando con Colombia, pero en inglés no utilizamos el con, solamente decimos German is playing Colombia. O we can say, el okay. Salvador is playing Honduras. Well, Alianza well, is playing <laughs> Cas. Ajá. Uh -huh. And so on. Exactly. Okay. Good. Now, what do you think is going to be? Let's make a couple of with you. He with his friend Alex. He with his friend Alex. What am I using? Simple present or present progressive? Present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive because the match is tomorrow. Oh, oh. Right? Okay, it's tomorrow. Okay, what is the form here, Sandrita? He is going. Is going. He is going with his friend Alex. Okay. <laughs> Alex. Then he says, they, Concepcion, they not go by coach because Hans traveling by coach. Here, pay attention to, to the first and the second part. Okay. They go by coach, coach, in the U.S., let me show you here. Coach is in the U.S. Como entrenador. Coach in the U.S. means entrenador. Pero en inglés británico, right, it means something else. Coach, right, is like a bus. It's the bus. In English, in inglés americano, it means the bus. In British English, we say the coach. No, bus. Bus, el jefe. Ah, bus. No, bus. Bus. Like the transportation. Ah, bus. Ah, bus. bus. No bus. Bus. Ah. Mm -hmm. Coach is bus. bus. They not going. They not go going. Okay, Concepcion. If we say they, they not. What? What is missing there, Concepcion? Algo falta. It is present progressive, but something they, is missing. They are not going. They are not going. They are not going by coach. Because what what do I what do I have to write here, Angie? Because because Hans no. Um, no, do, no like. Um, no like. Okay, when we say no like, is that simple present or present progressive, Angie? Not like. Uh, simple present. Okay, in simple present, what is the auxiliary that I use for simple present, Angie? Um, do, das sería. Das, okay. So what das, is the answer? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Das not, I want to, does not, okay. uh -huh. does uh -huh. not okay. like, uh-huh. Okay, because hands does not like traveling by coach. Here, here, this is correct. Very good, Angie. We don't use present progressive because this is not something that happens only now, okay? This is a routine, no this way. is a habit. This is a habit, es algo que él ya tiene, es un hábito, que a él no le gusta viajar en bus, okay? A él no le gusta viajar en bus. They are not going by coach because Hans does not like traveling by coach, right? Very good. So do we understand, yes, Carmen? Yes, I have a question in this case, because normally when you use like, you say, I don't like to, I don't like to eat some food, or I don't like to, to make some activity, or I don't like to do some activities. In this case, you omit the two. No, 
Actually, okay. the correct form, the correct form in English, and uh, Angie, <laughs> Carmen, <laughs> the correct form in English is that we use, and thank you for your question, that is very important. It's muy importante su pregunta. Vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa. When we have verbs like like, love, hate, esos son ejemplos solamente, okay? Like, love, hate, right? For example, I don't like, right? I don't like, then after that, right? If I want to put here, right? The next one, the verb, in this case, is not going to be a verb. It has to be an activity or what we call in English a gerund. Sería un gerund, un gerundio. Los gerundios casualmente terminan con ing también, pero no son verbos, no funcionan como verbos. They function as activities. For example, the verb is swim. Right? If I use it as a gerund, it's going to be swimming. The verb is dance. If I use it as a gerund, it's going to be dancing. The verb is eating, eat. As a gerund, it's going to be eating, okay? So, aquí ya no van a ser verbos, van a ser actividades. Okay? Van, se van a, a, a tomar como actividades. For example, I like swimming in the ocean. I like swimming in the ocean. I just open a letter my ukulele. I like swimming in the ocean. I love dancing tango. I love dancing tango. I hate eating um, eggplants. You. I hate eating eggplants. So this is the correct form. La forma correcta es unir el verbo, el verbo principal, que sería like, love, and hate, más un gerundio. En este caso, los gerundios en inglés se forman igual que el presente progresivo, pero ya no son verbos, sino que son actividades. ¿Okay? Entonces, te diría, a mí me gusta nadar en el océano, me gusta bailar tango, me gusta, no, odio comer eh, eggplant. ¿Cómo se dice esto? Las cositas moradas. No, no, no. Las cositas moradas. Que, que... ¿Aceitunas? No, those are olives. olives. Berenjenas son berenjenas. 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 No me gustan. Me encantan. I like <laughs> No me gustan. Okay. So, Asaya no. can say, I hate eating eggplants. And Angie can say, I love eating eggplants. Right? So, uh, Carmen, this would be the answer. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. teacher. In the first case, in the first case, for example, I like swimming in the ocean, or you can say I like to swim in the ocean. You can say that, but the proper English is this. El, I like el, swimming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Okay. El, eh, para hablar, muchas personas no han transformado y dicen I like to swim, pero la forma correcta es I like to swim, okay. I like dancing, I like I hate eating. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Carmen. Great question. Now, let's continue here. Let's continue here with, with the answers for this. Please take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. And let me know when you finish taking the screenshot so you can work in pairs. Okay, do you take the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Right now, we are going to work in pairs. We're going to go to breakout rooms, right? For, I think it's gonna take you, what, five minutes? To complete the activity? In cinco minutos, lo hacemos? Tomando en cuenta que voy a copiar. 
<laughs> Voy a empezar a escribir ya ahorita para que me alcance. Yes, please. I will give you seven minutes, ¿ok? Siete minutos. Y se va a venir automáticamente todo para acá. Hoy no lo vamos a parar para que podamos trabajar. So, we're going to be together right now. Let me put some people here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let's go. Please select your group. Select your group right now. Select your groups. Thank you very much. Teníamos días de no trabajar. ¿Any sí, questions? Ya no, no, no quería. Eh, uh, teacher, estamos a copiar. Digo, ok, very vamos. well. <ríe> que nos alcancen los siete minutos. Okay, que lo hagamos. Ok, very well. I'm going to be here. No, let me go to another group. Voy a ir a, a otro grupo entonces. Ok. Ok. Can you have any questions? Okay, teacher. You're welcome. See you in a moment. Okay. Okay. Tienen preguntas también me pueden avisar ahí, okay? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Amable. ¿Por teacher. dónde va? Yo ahorita <laughs> se le copié una línea nada más. Quiero ver. Tomorrow, Germany. Por ahí voy ahorita. Usted quizás okay. ya había copiado más. No, si sí, empezando voy. Es Pero que... voy por coach. Si copio y mientras ella está explicando, eh, como que no capta se mucho. Pierde uno, uno. Ajá, Ajá, se pierde entonces, uno. Ajá, se pierde uno por eso. Antes yo hacía, estar... copiaba, pero me perdía, entonces mejor ella espera. Es mejor eh, escucharla y después copiar. Yes. Correcto. Por lo menos. O sea, o sea que esta semana salimos de vacaciones. Yo, ¿cuándo mandaron ese WhatsApp? Ahora. Me, ajá, ahora lo mandaron. Me, me, me cayó porque según yo, yo como estoy descontinuada con las vacaciones. Sinceramente. Sí. En lo que usted copia antes, voy a ir contestando uno. Vaya, está bien. Porque yo ahorita estoy copiando también. Ok. Handbook. Por tiempo no le he escrito, no porque sí he querido escribirle. Ah, sí, así estaba. Yo súper ocupada más hoy que es lunes y estaba almorzando casi a las 3 de la tarde. No, niña, ya se está va el a estómago. Sí me dolía el estómago un, un poco porque luego a medio comer y tuve que atender un cliente, pero digo un proveedor. Era importante que lo yeah. atendiera. Hola. 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 Hoy sí me escucho. Hola. Sí, hoy sí. Hola. Sí, Hola. sí. Le escucho. ¿Qué se había hecho, Ay, Pedrina? Es que me salí porque no, no tenía audio, pero allí le puse en el chat a ella que me iba a salir. Ok, ok, ok. Estaba de parranda. Sí, andaba de parranda. Nada Sí. Entonces. Sí. Este, no, por el momento no, teacher. Y usted, no sé si la compañera. No, está bien, solo es completar, vea, teacher. Yes. Ok.
del tren. Uh -huh, correcto. It, it arrives in Berlin. In Berlin at, igual le quedaría arrive. Ajá. It, Porque es una rutina como usted dijo. Ajá. It arrives. It, it arrives in Berlin. Ajá. In Berlin. Y consiste en schedule. In Berlin. In, in, schedule. Uh, Repeat. Schedule. 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 Exact schedule. schedule. At 1345. Okay. Hans and Alex are taking a lot of money. Hans and Alex. Are taking enough money. Taking. Are taking enough money. Enough money. With them to buy lunch on the train. Que es match. What? Match, the match. It's a full book. Game. Marzo. The match, the game. Match is game. The match. Did you finish? No. No. The match. We are talking about the, the the match of tomorrow. So the match. Did you finish? No. No, teacher. No, not yet. No. Any questions right now? Uh, okay, no. No? No, teacher. Okay, I see you in a moment. Okay. Is is. It is arriving. 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 Teacher. Bye. Eh, va que esa, ese, ese verbo sí se puede eh, cambiar con el ING, ¿verdad? Which one? Why? Arrive. Uh, Arrive. Right. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Que no se puede be. Mm. Mm. Be. Yes. Uh -huh. Be, ¿no? Ajá. No, por eso usted no se puede. Está en la lista que ella que dio que no se podía conjugar. Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces sería yeah. Iris arriving in Berlin uh -huh. at. Eh, arriving. Sería arriving. 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 Listen to the pronunciation. <laughs> Trate de, de, de imitar la misma pronunciación, ¿ok? Arriving. Okay. Yes. Arriving. Sería thirteen forty five, teacher. Thirteen forty five. Thirteen forty five. Yes, that's one PM. One one forty five PM. Forty five PM. En la siguiente, si no sé. Que sigue porque no lo copié todo. Ok. Eh, Yo le voy a preguntar. Yo le voy a preguntar cuando dice It arrived in Berlin at 13.45. Now, we're talking about the train. Right? Estamos hablando del, del tren. ¿Qué pueden notar en esa oración? Esa oración les está, les está diciendo a ustedes que la acción está sucediendo en estos momentos o es una acción que es, una, es un hábito. Es una rutina. Es un hábito. Ok. Y si es un hábito, Gabriela, ¿utilizamos el presente progresivo o el simple present? El simple present. 
ocupamos el simple present. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Ajá. Entonces sería, it is arrived. It arrives. Solo it it arri arrives. Sí, porque it Teacher, pero siempre tengo que, siempre tengo que, que hacer la contracción. Um... No, porque ahí solamente usted va a hacer así, mire. En el chat, it arrives. No utilizamos ah, ahí. No utilizo el is. No utiliza el is cuando estamos hablando de simple present. El verbo ah, to be okay. se larga de nosotros. No lo utilizamos. No lo necesitamos. Así es, ahí lo acabo de poner en el chat. Entonces sería it arrives. It arrives. ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. o, o, bueno, como ahí está el it arrives in Berlin at 1345. Es una uh -huh. rutina, es como cuando usted va a las terminales de buses. Ya ido a las terminales de buses. Yes. Cuando usted uh -huh. va a la terminal de bus, ve eh, que está allí como la hora en la que va a salir cada bus. Esa es una rutina, eso es diario. Entonces, eso nos ayuda a nosotros. Ah, eso es algo que va a pasar siempre a esa hora. Y el bus sale a qué hora. A la, si quiero llegar a sacarte a la una, me tengo que ir de aquí a las 12. Si está okay. para las 12 y 5, ya se fue. Right? Very good. Keep analyzing the exercises. Ok. okay. Sigue analizando los ejercicios. Vaya, el sí, lo de... No. Ok. Entonces se queda en su forma natural, tengo mis dudas. ¿Cuál? Que de la... Teacher, ese, ese verbo es stop, eh, cambia, puede cambiar su forma. ¿Cuál? Stop. ¿Sí? No, esto. ¿Por, ¿Por qué la cambiaría? ¿Por qué cree usted que la cambiaría? Ah, no, 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 no he dicho nada. Eh, es presente perfecto. Presente perfecto, pero no hemos trabajado presente perfecto. No, 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 pero, pero, pero ya me confundí, ya me confundí aquí. Espérenme, ese... Eh, espérenme, ya ni sé. I think we're going to finish here and let's go. Tienen 60 segundos para terminar. La pena en 60 segundos en el breakout room. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hello. How was the exercise? How was the exercise? Was it difficult? Was it easy? Did you finish? You were talking about your life in the exercise. Difficult, bitch. Difficult. Hablando de toda su vida estaba. <laughs> Dejamos la vida ahí. Dejamos la vida ahí. Exagerados. Let me share right now my screen and you tell me the exercises, what you have done, what you have not done, right? We have here the, the next one, right? They are not going by coach because Hans doesn't like traveling by coach. They What do you have here, Carmen? They are going by train. They are going by train. Excellent job. They are going by train. Okay, now we have the next sentence that my friend Sandra is going to help me. They train Hamburg at, Hamburg, Hamburg, Hamburg at midday. I'm hungry. Hamburg at midday. 
<risa> a mí también me estaba dando hambre. <risa> Michelle, yo pensé que hamburguesa hacía. Sí, a veces que, o hambriento, no sé, <risa> hambre. Es la hora, chicha, Hamburgo, es la hora. Es la hora. <risa> <risa> Hamburgo, Hamburgo, ok. The train, uh Hamburg -huh. admite. Is present simple, is present simple or present progressive? That's the first thing. Present simple. Present simple. So the answer is? Live. Living. Lives. Lives. Live. 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 The train leaves Hamburg at midday. It is something that happens every day. I was, I was telling some of your classmates, this is like when you go to the bus stations, right? You, when you go to bus stations in San Salvador, Right. In the terminales de buses, bus stations, you go there and you see the signs. Right? PM. Son sonate, una y media. Right? Those buses, they have a they have a schedule, and the schedules are activities that happen every day. Those are routines. Right? So the train leaves Hamburg at midday. What happens next, Emerson? Eat a fast train. And not stop anywhere. It is. It is. Uh huh. It is. Fast train. It is a fast train and. And doesn't stop anywhere. Does not stop anywhere. Very good. Very good. Let's continue there, Ana Gabriela. It. It. It arrived in Berlin at thirteen forty-five. Okay. It arrives. Okay. Repeat with me. It arrives. It arrives in Berlin at thirteen forty-five. Very good. Very good job. Let's continue there with the next sentence. Mr. Alexis, Hans and Alex. The, the Hans Alex are taking. Mm -hmm. uh, are taking, very good. Read the, complete, read the complete sentence. Lea la oración completa, por favor. Esa palabra no sé cómo se dice. Enough. 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 Money. Listen. Enough. Listen. Enough. 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 No, no es enough. Escucha bien. Enough. 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 Very good. Continue. Enough. Enough. Money. No. Read from the beginning. Uh, Hans and Alex. Lea la bien todo. Uh, Hans and Alex are taking enough uh, money we they to buy lunch on the train. Mm -hmm. Frame. Okay, very good. Hans and Alex are taking enough money with them to buy lunch on the train. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue later. The match. The match is starting. Okay, starting. Leida, let me ask you this. Is this, if it says a schedule at 3 p.m., at 15, by right, 3 p.m., is that a schedule? Schedules are daily activities or are things that are happening now? Teacher, in this case, um, we are so confused because you are talking about the match of tomorrow specifically. Mm -hmm. But it's already a schedule. 
Ah, okay. On the, always that is a schedule only for time or two or three times is on schedule and is with simple press. Simple press. Okay. Yes. It's like the buses. The buses they will happen tomorrow. Okay. Right? But they have they have a schedule already. Okay. So if it's a schedule, if it's something that is is, is set up, then we use simple present. So what would be the answer here? The match? Starts. It starts. <laughs> exactly. The match starts at 3 p.m. and it Finish. Finishes. Very good. Finishes. Repeat with me later. Re read the sentence with me. The match starts at 3 p.m. The match starts at 3 p.m. And it finishes at about 4.45. It's finished at about 4.45. 4.45. 4.45. Very good. Now let's continue with the next sentence here. Asalia, their train home leave. Okay, their train is what is the train? It, she, or he? Um, 13. Lives. Lives, okay. Their train home leaves Berlin at 6 p.m. And the last one, please tell me, Concepcion. Our arrivals. They arrive, arrive, only arrive. They arrive back in Hamburg at 8.15. Very good, so we have the exercise. Excellent job, very good. This was a difficult exercise. Make sure, make sure that you have the answers. Verifiquen que tienen las respuestas. No, teacher. Tengo una pregunta. Yes, go ahead. ¿Por qué ocupamos presente simple? Cuando estamos hablando de un evento que puede ser que no siempre pase en la misma hora. Por ejemplo, the match starts eh, at, eh, a las 3. Eh, uh -huh. Sin embargo, es algo que no sucede así siempre. Porque Paris, es un evento. Paris es quecho. Es es quecho. So when we have a schedules, así como les decía el ejemplo de, lo, de los buses, okay? cuando tenemos un horario, vamos a utilizar simple press. We're going to use simple press. Cuando habla de schedules, ¿qué es? What? Cuando habla de schedules, ¿a qué se refiere ahorita? Schedule es horario, Sandrita. Es lo que habíamos oh, hablado okay. la vez pasada. Schedule. Ajá. ¿Se acuerda la palabra que vimos la vez anterior? Sí, sí. sí. Esquecho, horario. Entonces, oh. como ya, es, ya está esquecho, eh, Gabriel, ya está en horario, vamos a utilizar simple present. Ok. Aunque se dé el evento, no se vaya a dar, como dice Aunque Ricardo. Se it was my my Uh, no listen. Can you listen to me? A little bit. No. Echo. 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 No, teacher, se escucha raro. Lejos. Cortado. Lejos, como que está bien lejos. Se fue para los Chunais Stay. <laughs> A mí ya me duele el oído, teach. <laughs> no, but now, when we have the activities that are scheduled, oh, yeah. right? When we have the activities that are scheduled, we always use the present simple, right? 
when we have the activities that are not scheduled, then we use, right? Vamos a hacer más, como se dice, más prácticos. Cuando utilizamos, cuando utilizamos horas, right? Cuando utilizamos horas, vamos a utilizamos horas o que ya tengamos actividades que están programadas, pero están en un horario. Por ejemplo, cuando va al cine, okay? Cuando va al cine, va a utilizar Simple Present. Uh, the mm -hmm. movie starts at 9 p.m. Right? Vamos a utilizar el Simple Present. Cuando utilizamos el Present Continuous, aunque sea para futuro, ¿verdad? It's going to be for the future. It's a range, right? But you are going to use, you're going to use Present Progressive. But if you have a timetable, for example, if we have a timetable like this, can you see my not my book here? I think you can see it. Can yes, you see I my see. my not? Okay. In my not book, in my book, I have a time schedule for Anna. Right? We have Anna Monday cinema 7 p.m. Tuesday Andy's party 8 p.m. Wednesday mid museum 7:30 bus stop. So what are we going to do here? Right? We ask. Anna goes to the cinema at 7 p.m. Right? And Anna arrives at Andy's party at 8 p.m. For this type of schedules, right? We're going to use simple press. Okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you for your question, uh, Gabriel. Thank you so much. Any, anybody else with another question? Ya verificaron que tengan las respuestas? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 me veían lejos porque estaba trayendo el libro. Quería enseñarles ese ejemplo. Okay, we'll go, I am going to ask you question, some questions right now, and you tell me the answers of these questions, okay? Don't copy, let's just talk about them. Vamos solamente a hablar acerca de esas preguntas. Look at the questions I have. It says here, do you like talking on the phone? Do you ever call tech support? Tech support. When and what happens when you call tech support, right? Do you like talking on the phone? I don't like talking on the phone. It's like, eh? I, I rather send messages. What about you? Do you like talking on the phone? Gabriel, do you like talking on the phone? Yes. Oh, he's eating. Okay, okay Asalia, do you like talking on the phone? <laughs> yes. Yes. Really? I like on the, I like I like talking on the phone. I like talking on the phone, very good. What about you, Emerson? Do you like talking on the phone? Yes. Why? I guess I like talking on the phone. Why? Por qué? Why? Mm. <laughs> no sé cómo <laughs> decirlo. Dígame, for, dígame en español. For... <laughs> dígame. Uh, for communication. For communication okay. purposes, okay? Yes. Yes. For better communication. Okay, for better communication. Me duele la cabeza, hoy tengo ganas de vomitar. Vaya a vomitar. Ay, no, te. Porque si no va a vomitar aquí enfrente de todo. Ay, no. no queremos ver. Because I like, <laughs> no queremos ver, I like, <laughs> oh, because 
I, yeah, I like better communication. Okay, very good. Do you like? Teacher. Yes, Gabriel? Uh, because. Eh, usted, cuando usted me está preguntando, yo sé que no hay que traducir, pero me está preguntando si a mí me gusta eh, hablar por teléfono, ¿verdad? Exactly. La respuesta es, la respuesta del verbo es talking, es el mismo verbo porque es en el mismo tiempo. O lo ocupo en otro tiempo porque estoy hablando de, normalmente así lo hago. No sé si me voy a explicar. When you say, do you like talking on the phone? Yes, I like talking on the phone. Okay. Or no, I don't like talking on the phone. And then you so mentioned why? the reason why. Uh -huh. For mm. example, I would say, yes, I like talking on the phone. It's mentira. Baby. I like talking on the phone because I love hearing people's voices. Mentira, no me gusta. No me hablo. Yes, I like talking on the phone because I love hearing people's voices. What about you, Carmen? Do you like talking on the phone? When I was a child, I loved talking on the phone with my <laughs> friends and whatever friends. But now I don't. Now you don't. Why not? No, because I prefer talking face to face or one to one. Okay, very good. Because I prefer talking face to face. Estoy escribiendo las frases en el chat para que las vayan apuntando. Okay. Um, Celia, do you like talking on the phone? Yes, I like talking on the phone. Why? Uh, because Because, como lo uso al trabajo, como podría decir. Because I use it. I use it. For my work. work. For, my, for work. my work. Okay. For my, for work. my work. Very good answer, Celia. Look at that. Lo uso por mi trabajo. Because I use it for my work. What about you, Luis? Do you like talking on the phone? No, no like talking on the phone. No, very good. No, I don't. Like talking on the phone. Why not, Luis? Because because uh, I'm sad, aburrido. Oh. I am tired of it. Me too. Yes, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Ya no, ya no, ya no aguanto cerrar por teléfono. Me pica la cabeza. I'm tired of it. Very good. Very good answers. Now, let me ask you one more question. One more question. And here it is, enjoy your meal, Luis Alberto, Luis Armando. Do you ever call tech support? Do you no. ever call tech support? No. No, you don't? Okay. okay. Okay, like for example, I call tech support uh, for Claro. When my phone is not working, I, I call, yes, I call Claro. And they send me to tech support, technical support, support technical. And they send me to tech support. Let me ask you this, um, Sandra. Sandra, do you ever call tech support? Do you ever? Que do si you... yo he llamado o que me está preguntando? What, yes. What do, you ever, do you ever call tech support? Yes, yes. I when? ever call. Uh, I sometimes call tech support. I always call tech support. In my case, I sometimes call tech support for my internet and my and my cell phone for my app. Right. What about you? Mal internet. Okay. Eh, eh, por alguna clave también. Alguna clave. ¿Cómo okay. Se diría? For passwords. Por okay. password. Por password. For passwords. Because I need Change. passwords. Change the password. 
because I need to change the passwords. Very good. What? Señal. Signal. Because of the signal. signal. Oh, yes. Because of the signal, because of the poor connection. We're going to do here. Poor connection. Because of the poor connection. No sirve la conexión. Está mala la señal. Poor connection. Or you, you have an unstable connection. Conexión inestable. Very good. And what about in your work? In your office? In your office. For example, in my office, right? My office is my house, right? But I use the platform. I use the platform. I use Zoom, right? Sometimes I have problems with Zoom, right? So sometimes I call tech support for my company and I ask them to help me fix the issues. What about you? Do you call the tech support in your office to help you? Maybe with a printer, with a computer? Yes. Does that have tech support in your office? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Who do you call? Tell me, Carmen. In my case, I call the tech support to install the printer, for example, in my in my house. Because I I don't I I am not in the office. I I am my house, so I I need to configure and install the, the print. Okay, very good. Look at the answers. I call the tech support to install the printer in my house. I need to configure the printer. Okay, very good. What about you, Gabriela? Do you call tech support for your office? Um, yes, teacher. I am called tech support for uh, assistance um, um, for configuration my mail. Okay. To set up my email. Very good. To get assistance to set up my email. Very good. That's true. Me too. Very good. To set up my email. Very nice. Any other options there? Any other answers, Alexis? Do you ever call tech support? Siempre clave teacher into the computer. Okay. To enter the password. Clave is password, eh, Sandrita. Password. To enter the password in the computer. To enter the password in the computer. Very good. What about you, Alexis? I, I am teach a support and, and work. A, a not tablet. To what? Uh, uh, for problems, um, tablets, and uh, movies. Okay. When I have Netflix. When I have problems with the tablet. Yes. Okay. Very good. When um, I have problems with the tablet. Uh, support uh, laptop. Ah, oh, very good. And to get support for the laptop. Uh, support on my cell, my phone. My phone, very good. Now, yeah. these are options or these are type of calls that we can have at the moment that we have problems with tech support, right? When we have problems with other devices or the remote device and dispositivos, devices, like cell phones, laptops, um, what? Uh, printers, right? different things that we can have in our workplace that can actually fail. Like que pueden fallar, things that can fail. Now, let's continue here. We're going to see a small conversation that I want you to connect, okay? 
Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes, in fine. The in, in the last slide, uh, why you don't say, uh, do you like calling on the phone? Or because you, 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 uh -huh. you, write, talking, you like talking. Talking on the phone, it's a fair because calling is the action of, put, you know, punching the numbers. Okay. But when you punch the numbers, you're calling someone. But once you're calling, and then you start talking. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It mm -hmm. is Thank you. That is the difference. Exactly. That is the difference. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and move to this part. In this part, we are matching the first part with the second part. Okay? So, we're going to try to put all of them together. These are phrases that we can use on the phone, okay? So we have, for example, the first one, I'll put you, and here you can make mistake. Aquí van a hacer errores, no se preocupen, okay? Aquí van a hacer errores. So we're going to put here this one. We're going to match it. This one, I'll put you, and then who is calling? the line leave a message through calling isn't available at the moment alice anderson the line is busy what do you think is the answer for the first one it cannot be any it cannot be one two or three no puede ser ni la uno ni la dos ni la tres porque estas son preguntas miren y la primera no es pregunta right what do you think is the first one? Teacher. Yes? ¿Cómo, yeah. cómo, se, okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta, la parte donde está I, apóstrofe, L, L? I'll. I'll. I'll put you. I'll put you. I'll put you. I'll put you. Joe. I'll put you. I'll ah, put you. I'll put you. Mm -hmm. El pronunciación de you es la misma siempre, Alexis. Ah, es que no lo, no lo sabía. I put you. Uh -huh. The line is by. The line is busy. It's busy. I put you, the line is busy. No. No. Nah. No. I put you, Alice Anderson. I put you, Alice, And Alice Anderson. A usted le he puesto en español hasta leyendo aquí. Mentira. Sí, en español está leyendo. Te pondré Alex Anderson. Eso es lo que entendí. Por eso me dijo eso. Uh -huh. uh, maybe isn't available at the moment. Isn't available. Who isn't available? We need a subject. Who uh, is Peter, available? Peter. Peter, ajá. Uh -huh. Peter, Peter is not available. Aha, uh -huh. who is not available? Peter is not available at the moment. Very good. That is one. That is one answer. Let's make the questions. Hagamos la las preguntas para que no salga más fácil. We have. Uh, can I can I ask uh, who is calling? Exactly. Very good, Sandrita. Can I ask who is calling? Can I ask who is calling? Mm -hmm. Very good. What's another one? Can, you, Can hold? you hold the line? Can you hold the line? Very good. Can you hold the line? Can you hold the line? Very good. Would you like to? <clears throat> I am sorry, Alice Anderson. I'm sorry, Alice Anderson. Mm, kind of. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Miss Smith, Alexander. I'm afraid, Miss Smith, Alexander. No. Miss no, no. Alice Anderson. Hmm? This, this is, 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 is Alice is. Anderson. Okay, Alice this is Anderson. Alice Anderson. Very good. This is Alice Anderson. Would you like to call him? Would you like? Ah, uh, would you like to leave a message? Would you like to leave a message? Leave a message. Very good. Would you like to leave a message? Mm -hmm. 
Very good. We're good. We're good. I'm, we just. I'm sorry, the line is busy. I'm sorry, the, the line, line is busy. busy. Very good. I'm sorry, the line is busy. Very good. Uh -huh. We have two more. What do you think is going to be? Um, I am. I, I'm afraid, Mr. Miss. Miss, Miss. Uh, mm -hmm. Very good. I I'm a friend. We're going to have two here. Look, this is okay. Here, but also we can put this one here. Five and six. Okay. Five and six. Let me put another color. Okay. Le vamos a poner otro color. I'm afraid, Mr. Smith isn't available at the moment and Peter is calling. These two, they can be together too, okay? Esas pueden ser otras opciones. And the last one, I'll put you oh. through. What is the I'll meaning put. of I'll put you? For example, you are calling me, I am the secretary, right? I am the assistant. And then you are calling me and you want to talk to Alexis, right? So I will say, okay, wait, Carmen, I'll put you through. Then I will connect you. So then you can talk to Alexis. And I am not in the conversation anymore. I'll put you through is transferir. Uh, transfer. To transfer, to transfer. Very good. So after this trepachuca, right? We're going to make here the correct answer. Yeah, right, teacher. Yeah, right. Calling. Ah uh, no, I'm afraid. afraid. I'm afraid Fray. Mrs. Smith isn't available. I'm afraid Mrs. Smith is is calling. We can have eh, to. Pero qué es afraid? Uh, afraid me. is like um the translation. The translation it would be like tengo miedo. Right, pero en, en, cuando estamos hablando en el teléfono es como decir, eh, lo siento mucho, pero no está disponible. I'm afraid me Sandra is not available uh -huh. at the moment. Okay. Uh -huh. No está disponible, lo siento mucho. I'm afraid es como decir, uff, siento usted llamó, pero ni no, modo, no hay nadie. Uh -huh. I'm afraid. Ah, ok. Very afraid. good. Es una frase entonces. Es una frase hecha, exacto. Okay. So, let me, let me give you the phrases, ok? Let me give you the phrases. Vamos a poner en las frases aquí porque ese tripachuca ya me puso loca. Number one, I'll put you through. I'll put you through. Significa, lo voy a transferir. Okay. I'll put you through. Lo voy a transferir. Copiamos esas frases. I'll put you through. Lo voy a transferir. This is Sylvia. This is Alice Anderson. This is Angie. This is Asalia. Usually, when we say that, right? Usually, we can say also, podemos decir también, this is Sylvia speaking. Esa es otra opción que, podíamos, que podemos dar aquí al final, pero eso es opcional. Right? This is Sylvia speaking. Who is that? This is Sylvia speaking. This is Alison Anderson speaking. As, esa es otra frase que utilizamos cuando estamos en el teléfono. This is Sylvia. Solamente, ah, esta es Sylvia, como cuando decimos, ¿quién habla? Sylvia. Sylvia habla. This is Sylvia speaking. Este speaking es opcional. Would you like to leave a message? Would you like to leave a message? Carmen is calling me. Hi, Carmen. Yes, no. Mr. Gabriel is not here. Would you like to leave a message? I am going to take a message. Would you like to leave a message? ¿Le gustaría dejar un mensaje? ¿Le gustaría dejar un, como dicen en español? 
un recado, una nota. Right? Would you like to leave a message? Peter, we can say Peter isn't available no. at the moment. Or is calling. Or Peter is calling. Peter is calling. Who's calling? Peter is calling. Aquí le vamos a poner aquí. Se nos fue. Peter is calling. Right? Peter is calling. Sandra is calling. Concepcion is calling. Leida is calling. Right? Now, can I ask, can I ask who is calling? Can I ask who is calling? Peter is calling. Right? Can I ask who is calling? The secretary siempre dice, ¿quién llama? ¿Con quién desea hablar? Right? Can I ask who's calling? Silvia is calling. Can I ask, can I talk to Pedrina, please? Right. Then we have, can you hold the line? Can you hold the line? Esa es la peor, pero bueno. Can you hold the line? Cuando lo pone a una espera. A waiting time. Waiting time. When you call Claro, for example, right? They say, can you please wait on the line? So you're, uh, Pasan 20 minutos y uno esperando. Right. Can I hold the line? Can you hold the line? Puedes esperar en la línea. Right. I'm afraid Mrs. Smith isn't available at the moment. No está. Cuando le dicen uno, no, no hay nadie que lo atienda. I'm afraid Sandrita isn't available at the moment. Right. I'm sorry, the line is busy. I'm sorry, the line is busy. Cuando están ocupados y en verdad no le van a pasar a nadie, le van a decir, I'm sorry, the line is busy. Okay? Now, do we understand all these phrases? ¿Entendemos esta frase, chicos? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes? ¿Tienen preguntas? <laughs> yes, we're going to practice. Yes? We're going to practice right now the first part of a conversation that's going to be very easy. This is on your book on page 39. Let's go to your book on page 39, please. And we see the conversation between Peter and Robert, okay? Peter and Robert. So listen to me, please, with the conversation. This is, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Phrases that we need to remember. How can I help you? How can I help you? I'd like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like to report a problem with my phone. I'd like to report a problem with my laptop. I like to report a problem with my TV, right? What is it? ¿Qué le pasa? What is it? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. It's broken, right? It's broken. Now, let's see this conversation. I would like to listen to Peter is going to be Gabriel. Robert is going to be Carmen. And then I am going to listen to Asalia and Angie. Let's practice the conversation. Hey. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, very good. Now, when we have this type of conversations, right, we go like, good morning. This is Peter Prontech Support. How can I help you? Right, you need to sound like you want to help someone. This is a fun conversation. The problema con los teléfonos is that you are not face to face. Okay. So you just listen to that person 
no ven a la persona con la que están hablando, solo escuchan su voz y el tono de voz. The tone of voice is very important when you are in a phone call. Okay? So, listen to me. If I speak like this, si yo hablo así, por ejemplo, good morning, this is Sylvia from Tech Support. How can I help you? Right? And it's going to be different if I say, good morning, this is Sylvia from Tech Support. How can I help you? ¿Escuchan la diferencia? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Yes, Very good. And remember, you cannot see me. Right? No me pueden ver. You cannot see me. You can only listen to my voice. Right? And that's the purpose. Right? So let's do it one more time. In this case, Asalia and Angie. But well, let's practice the intonation, okay? Let's practice a little bit with the intonation. Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Asalia. Good morning. I am here. Okay. No. Dale, Asalia. Yo voy a ser Robert. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. This period front stage support. How can I help you? Hi, Peru. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. It like to report a problem with my computer. It doesn't seem to work. What is it, Robert? Uh, what is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Very good. ¿Y quién es este John? Mira, ahí por qué puse a John aquí. ¿Quién es John? Y ese John que se metió en la llamada. John Peter. John Peter. Es viendo a John. Okay. Pronunciation of this. And it's very important we practice the pronunciation of these guys. Let me show you right now. How can I help you? How can I, I help you? Okay, listen to me. How can, How I, can help? I help? No, listen, escuchen primero. How can I help you? How, How can, can I help, help you? you? Exactly. How can, How I, can I help How can help? I help? Help you. How can I help you? Okay, vamos a unir help and you. Help. We'll put it to the, together. Help you. Help, help you. How can I help you? Exactly. How, How can, can I help, I help you? you? Okay, escuchen. Vamos a unir help and you. Help you. Help you. Okay, help you. we we'll put it together. Help you. Help, help you. you. Exactly. Help you. How help can you. I help you? How can I help you? Very How good. Can I, I How can you. I help you? Very good. So only escuchar como una palabra. How can I help you? Repeat How with can me. I help you. Exactly. How can I help, help you? Okay. Dígalo junto. Help you. Help you. How can I help you? How can I, I help you? Exactly, very How good. How can I help you? Very good, excellent, excellent. Uh, Pedrita? How can I help How can I help you? Repeat. How can I help you? Very good, Daniel? Daniel, repeat with me. How can I help you? Daniel is not here. Celia, repeat with me. How can I help you? 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 Very good. Gabriela? How can I help you? Excellent, Gabriela. Nice. Suit. Emerson, oh no, Emerson. Uh, wait a moment. Jennifer Abidail? Jennifer, pronunciation, how can I help you? 
Abigail López. Okay. Angie, go ahead. Uh, how can I help you? Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Carmen? Okay. How can I help you? How can I help you? Very good. Tone of voice, excellent. Uh, let's see here. Luis Armando. Okay. Repeat. How can I help you? How can I help you? Very good. Uh, Pedrina. How can I help you? How, how can I help, help you? Help you. Help, help you. Help, help you. Help you. Very good. Ahora dígalo junto. How can I help you? How can I help you? Sí, pero no lo diga palabra por palabra. Dígalo junto. How can I help you? How can I help you? Okay. No lo diga palabra por palabra. Sígalo practicando. Leida. How can I help you? How can I help you? Okay. Let me listen to you again, Leida. Uh, how can I help you? How can I help you? Good, Leida. Uh, Sandra. How can I help you? Excellent job, Sandra. Ricardo. How can I help you? How can I help you? Very good. That's an important phrase. Esa sí es importante porque es la que nos está diciendo en el teléfono que yo le voy a ayudar a aquella persona. Okay, es muy importante. How can I help you? Okay, very How good. How can I help you? Help you. Help you. Exactly. Now, the second one is this one. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like, I'd like I'd to like, report, I'd to like report to a problem. I, I'd like to report like a, a problem. problem. Okay. Menos R, Asalia. Menos R. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report I'd a like problem. Very good. Very good. Another one. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What the only thing, it? the only thing is that usually the people in the tech support will ask you this. What seems to be the issue? Or what seems to be the problem? Usualmente si ustedes van a un call center en la vida real, no les van a preguntar what is it, porque what is it eh, se escucha muy pesado, ¿ok? Vamos a preguntar, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the issue? ¿Ok? Esta es la pregunta que utilizaríamos en la vida real. ¿Ok? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the issue? ¿Ok? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the issue? Repeat with me, Sandra. What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Very good. What seems to be the problem? What seems? Seems. What seems to be the problem? Seems. 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 Very good. Carmen? What seems, seems to be the problem? What seems, seems to be the issue? What seems to be the issue? Right? Porque en esta semana, what is it? Como que, 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 que pasa? What is it, Robert? Right? What seems to be the problem? Now here, it doesn't seem to work. Es algo bien general. Al parecer no funciona. Right? Pero nosotros escribimos varios problemas acá en el chat. ¿Se recuerdan que al inicio escribimos varios problemas? Right? I would like to report a problem with my email. Oh, what seems to be the problem? I entered the password in the computer and it doesn't work. I have problems with my laptop. Right? We can say also, uh, I need assistance to set up my email. I need to configure the printer. I need to install the printer in my house. I have poor connection. Uh, I need to change the passwords. I'm tired of my laptop. <laughs> right? Aquí nosotros ya escribimos más problemas que solamente este. Aquí nos están dando este. Y está bien, right? Pero ustedes ya tienen más problemas en el chat. 
¿Se recuerdan que al inicio les dijimos? El because. Ya están ahí todos los problemas que podemos poner. Now, let's continue working. Do we understand this conversation? ¿Entendemos esta conversación? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Anotaron esta otra opción de pregunta? Que me gustaría que usaran esta opción mejor. Sí, ok. ¿Puedo continuar? Yes, ok. Let's continue. We're going to have here, right? We have a, no, we have in the book in, on page, on page 39, right? Tell me, what is the issue with Robert's computer, Gabriel? What is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue? What is the issue with Robert's computer? Uh, uh, is he... No sé cómo decirlo esto porque es tercera persona y estamos hablando de una cosa, pero sería... It, it. It, it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. Very good. What is the issue with Robert's computer? It doesn't seem to work. Ese es el único issue que nos está dando en la conversación. How does he report the problem? He says, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Esa es la forma que lo vamos a, a, a informar a alguien que tenemos un problema. I like to report a problem with my email. I like to report a problem with my password. I like to report a problem with my printer. Right? All the issues that you can have, you're going to ask them or report them like this. Okay? Now, we are going to continue working here. Right, with the next activity, and it says here, work in pairs, right? And check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Vamos a trabajar en pareja, vamos a hacerlo juntos ahorita. Right, what seems to be the, like the issues that we have when we call tech support? What are the issues? For example, do we have issues with a uh, new software? Miren todos los, los posibles problemas que podemos tener. New software, no internet access, a virus, deleted files, paper stuck in the printer, USB ports out of order, funny noise in the CPU, frozen screen. Frozen screen. Frozen screen, okay, that's one. We put frozen screen right here. Okay, very good. Frozen screen, very nice. Teacher. Yes? It's funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU is that sometimes you turn on the computer and you, you listen to a beat. There's a noise. Mm. Hay un ruido en el CPU. Que soy es súper raro a veces. Que asusta. Right. Frozen screen. Uh -huh. There is a funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU. Now, okay. what could be another one? No, no internet access. No internet access. Okay, that's another issue. Very good. What's another issue? Common issue. Deleted files. Hmm? Deleted, Deleted files. files. <gasps> files. Deleted files. Deleted <laughs> files. Okay. What's another one? Me ha pasado dos veces. No good. No Paper good. Paper struck, struck in printer. Oh, yes. I hate that. It's horrible. Paper is stuck in the printer. Very good. Have you had any other problems? A virus. A virus. A, a virus. virus. A virus. Okay. This is a virus. But with the virus, this is I not know. like like the pandemic. No, it's a virus in the in the devices, in the computers. Yes. Okay. Very good. So we have these are possible problems 
or most common reasons to call tech support, right? Very good. Ya tenemos acá más vocabulario o otros problemas que podemos reportar. Oh. No. Ya casi, ya casi, ya casi. Let's see, let's see a conversation. I, I have another conversation example here that I would like you to look at, right? Look at this conversation. We have A, B, A, B. I would like you to help me with this. I am going to be letter B, Carmen, and you're going to be, no, I am going to be letter B and you're going to be letter A, okay? Okay. Can you send someone to fix my internet? Are you having a problem with it? My internet is having problems connect connecting. Can you tell me how long your internet has been messing up? I've been having this problem for the last few days. Will the internet even pop up? It'll pop up, but it won't connect to the uh, to a web page. Since the internet isn't broken, your connection must be messed up. Do you think you can send somebody over to fix it? If you like, I can send someone to fix it right now. How long will it be? How long will it be till they get the hair? It should be no longer than an hour. Okay, very good, very good. Now, I want you to read this, this conversation. Solo quiero que la lea. I want you to read it. And I want you to tell me, what was the problem? What is the problem? It, uh, it's a problem connection. It's a problem with the internet connection. Very good. It's a problem with the internet connection. Excellent. We have it here. And she said, it. my internet is having problems connecting. Very good. Now, let me ask you something. Did the person, the tech support, I was the tech support, okay? The tech support agent. Did the tech support agent ask the correct questions or no? Le pregunté yo las preguntas adecuadas para resolverle su problema o no? What do you think? What you happy? Mm -hmm. Miren la conversación. Are you having a problem with it? Okay, but listen to me. Did I ask the correct questions? Pregunté, ¿hice las preguntas correctas? No, ¿qué preguntas hice? Que si hice las preguntas correctas, sí o no. Yes, it is. Eh, will in Spanish is? I don't know. No sé cómo traducir Will en español. It's a future. It's a future reference. Auxiliary of future. Si apareció, si aparece, si le está preguntando que si aparece el internet. Uh -huh. yes. No. Okay. Por ejemplo, usted tiene el internet, el router del internet. Está, will the internet even pop up? O sea que si le está diciendo que si, cuando usted va a la computadora, le aparece el internet, la, la señal del internet. Will the internet even pop up? Pero traducción, no, 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 no sé cómo le diría. Ricardo. Aparece el internet. Eso le está preguntando. Will the internet even pop up? Yes. Pop up, aparece. Es que yo sabía que pop up era un, como una ventana emergente. Exacto. Cuando usted está, esa es una, una opción. Recuérdense no quedarse Intermitente. Casados. Recuerden, no. Es algo que parpadea. Intermitente. También ese es otro, ese es otro. Intermitente o que parpadea. Ese es otro significado. Ese es otro significado. Correcto. Pop-ups también son las ventanas emergentes. Ese es otro también. Or blinking. Blinking, exacto. Blinking, parpadeando. Entonces, pop-up es cuando usted ve el internet y le aparece. Usted enciende el, el router y le va a aparecer. Pop-up es aparecer. Surgir. Uh -huh. Surgir, exactly. Okay. And it says it'll pop up, but it won't connect to a web page. Right? 
right? Now, did I solve the issue? ¿Le resolví el problema, Carmen? No, you hmm? didn't. No, but... Uh... Are you sure I didn't? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. I sent Le dijo someone... que se le iba a resolver en una hora. Mm -hmm. No. I said that I will be sending a person in an hour. Mm -hmm. But you, saw, you only asked to me about... Después de varios días. Mm -hmm. De varios días. No, ya va. <ríe> Mi hijo, usted le pone mala calidad a la gente en los call centers. Uh -huh. sí. Look at the question she asked, Carmen. Right? Do you think you can send somebody over to fix it? Because yeah. the internet is not broken. The internet is not broken. Your connection is the problem, right? So I can send someone to fix it right now, right? So I did solve the problem. Mess okay. it up? What is the meaning of mess it up? Mess it up is that it's broken. Ah, ah. It's broken. It doesn't work. Está loco. It no sirve. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And then it should be longer than an hour. It should be no longer than an hour. Yo le resolví, le envié a alguien. Just it. Right? Okay. In this case, right, uh, we have an, uh, this is an example of a regular conversation you can have with tech support, right? With tech support for a common issue, for example, internet connection, right? Or no internet. Please, please, I need you to take a look at the conversation, take a screenshot and look at the conversation later on because we are going to use it in the future, okay? Please take a screenshot. Yes. Yes, teacher. Very well. Okay, now, before you, you go, I will call the attendance. Right, rapidito, vamos a poner la asistencia. Por favor, si me pueden encender las cámaras un ratito. Los que tienen cámara eh, apagada, thank you so much. And let's start with... Oops. Segundo. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Salia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Carmen Lisek Hernández Escobar. Present, teacher. Silvia Jazmín Castro de Chévez. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. José Alfonso Palma, Juan Josué Hernández, eh, Ley de Susena Sorto Cuadra, Present Teacher, Luis Armando Ventura Campos, Present Teacher, María Concepción Cerón Joven, Present Teacher, Eliana Gómez Ortega, Present Teacher, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes uh, Rodríguez, Present Teacher, Ricardo Gabriel Varenga Ventura, I'm here, Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona, Present teacher. Jennifer Abidaí López Scott. Okay, very well then. So that will be the attendance for today. We're going to stop here and we will continue with basic English conversations tomorrow, right? In the class so we can practice together, right? Now I am going to stay just with, with one person here, okay. right? Yo creo que me quedo hoy con 22. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez, if you're going to stay, si se va a quedar. Si no, nos quedamos con alguien más. Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. So I see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. 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 Hello, Alexis. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Eh, quizás solo con la pronunciación, teacher, tengo 
me, me, se me dificulta bastante. Vale. Yo he notado, Alexis, que usted tiene un problema con la pronunciación en cuanto que usted no... Primero tiene que hacer lo siguiente, tiene que escuchar bien la palabra que se le está diciendo. No tiene que pronunciarla al mismo tiempo que se la están pronunciando. Tiene que esperar a escuchar la pronunciación para luego hacer eh, la práctica. ¿Ok? Porque a veces yo estoy... Eh, repitiendo la palabra y se está hablando encima de mí, entonces no va a poder escuchar correctamente cómo se pronuncia. También tiene que, por ejemplo, cuando eh, a veces repetimos palabras de pronunciación, usted ya no las practica. Entonces cinco minutos después les está diciendo como ya las había dicho al inicio. Entonces tiene que seguirlas practicando. Para seguir practicando pronunciación, Alexis, tiene que usted empezar a trabajar con escuchar música sencilla en inglés, música que vaya súper lento por el momento, e ir leyendo las, las letras de las canciones, ir practicando con las letras de las canciones, y luego, primero lo que va a hacer es lo siguiente, por ejemplo, si usted ve un video en, en, en inglés, déjeme ver aquí, Déjenme ver acá. Tienes que ir practicando con, por ejemplo, con las, con la, eh, con las conversaciones o con las canciones, mejor dicho. Si usted escucha una canción en inglés, no la, va a, no la va a poder pronunciar el primer día que la escuche, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer? Usted la va a escuchar solamente y la va a ir leyendo para que su cerebro vaya conectando la pronunciación que escucha con las palabras que usted está leyendo. Luego, al segundo día, ¿verdad? Al segundo día que usted ya está trabajando con la misma canción, no tiene que aprenderse un montón de canciones, no. Con la misma ¿Por qué? Porque estos ejercicios nos van a ayudar a nosotros a ir practicando y a ir trabajando un poco con la movilidad de los músculos de la, de la boca y de la garganta para ir pronunciando, porque a esta edad nos cuesta más que a todos, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero usted tiene que ser más perseverante e ir practicando siempre. ¿Cuánto, cuánto practica eh, diariamente con pronunciación? Eh, en el trabajo, trato la manera de siempre andar escuchando música con uh -huh. audífonos, el, desde que comencé, bueno, desde que inicié, uh -huh. he estado escuchando música así en inglés. ¿Y cómo eh, hace el proceso de escuchar la música? Eh, me, ¿Qué me coloco hace? La, me, me, coloco, me coloco los audífonos y ando repitiendo las palabras que algunas sé, sé cómo, se, cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Las que no, trato la manera de tal vez volverlo a repetir y seguirlo haciendo. ¿Verdad? Pero se me, se me dificulta un poquito más porque como tengo que andar con un, con un audífono y tengo que estar pendiente de trabajo también. ¿Verdad? Pero trato la manera de hacerlo. Igual hay momentos que cuando me queda el lugar pongo video este, en el teléfono y pongo a repetir las palabras que salen ahí. Como uh -huh. subtituladas de Queen, de Kiss. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Poco a poco. Porque siento que Queen es un poquito, canta como un poquito más lento y uh -huh. es más claro. A veces, a veces. Ajá, algunas, algunas. Bohemia es una, 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 una canción que, que es un poquito más lenta y se alcanza a como entender. Uh -huh. Vale, yo le, voy, yo le voy a aconsejar que esa, ese tipo de música, eh, sí, pero ese es más avanzado, ¿ok? Yeah. Ese es más avanzado. Tenemos que trabajar con música que es aún más lenta de la que usted percibe que es la música... Eh, que está escuchando actualmente. ¿Cuáles eran los primeros dígitos de su teléfono? Disculpe. Eh, 7749. 7749. 7759, ya lo dije. Uy, ya había un montón de mensajes. Ok. I'm sending you there three links. Ok. Three different practices that you're going to make. With these practices that you're going to make, Alexis, right? We have uh, two songs in one video that you're going to watch for 
eh, the things that we do every day at home, okay? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con, eso, con esos eh, videos? Vamos a trabajar con los primeros dos. Those are songs that are very easy. You will see in the songs that you have the, the lyric. Va a tener la letra. Lo va a escuchar y va a ver la letra. No sé si usted los puede descargar en su teléfono o en su computadora. Lo ve, ve la letra las veces que sean necesarias. ¿verdad? Y después va a ir tratando de cantar esas canciones. Son súper lentas. Okay? Son súper lentas pero le van a ayudar a usted con su pronunciación. Va a tener dos canciones para una semana, suficiente. Luego está un, otro, otra práctica que es sobre conversation questions, más what are you doing, ¿ok? Como es más what are you doing, usted va a ir trabajando con, esas, eh, con esa conversación, con preguntas eh, bien fáciles, like, do you like to cook? Yes, I like to cook, right? Do you like to, uh, what's your favorite food? Do you live alone? I know I live with my parents. I live with my wife. I live with my girlfriend. Va a escuchar las preguntas bien lentas, ¿verdad? Va a escuchar las preguntas bien lentas, pero ese va a ser el propósito. Usted la va a ir repitiendo lentas así como las escuche. ¿Okay? Do you live alone? Va a repetir, do you live alone? What is your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? Entonces vamos a ir moviéndonos poco a poco con la pronunciación, porque si nos vamos escuchando rock de un solo, no vamos a, a, a lograrlo, porque usted se está yendo arriba y aún no, las bases no están fundamentadas. Tenemos que fundamentar las bases, lo más, lo más básico. Cuando ya tengamos lo básico sólido, ya nos vamos a ir moviendo. ¿Ok? Ok. Now, cuando usted termine estas, dos, estas tres prácticas que le he dejado, esto le va, le va a ayudar para toda la semana, quizás para la siguiente, puede escribirme otra vez y yo le mando otras tres prácticas para la siguiente semana. Y así vamos a ir trabajando. Va a ir repitiendo el mismo. Primero lo ve, lo escucha, no hace nada, lo va leyendo. Porque ahí en ese, en, en ese vínculo que le mandé, le va a aparecer la letra en la pantalla. Así su cerebro va a ir asociando. Ah, así se dice. Cuando usted vea las palabras aquí en la pantalla, otra vez en clase, dice, ah, yo me escuché que dijo ese, you are, you are. ¿Okay? Entonces usted ya va, ya va a aprender ahí la pronunciación. Porque hoy, por ejemplo, con la palabra you, esa palabra you, la que le pongo en el chat, esa la escuchamos todos los días, la practicamos. Y usted hoy me dijo yo. Uh -huh. Me lo dijo como un nombre de persona, como Joe. Y usted ya, usted ya conoce la pronunciación de la palabra. No es que no la conozca, sino que no la está practicando como debería. ¿Ok? Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Aparte de pronunciación, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Pues recibió a... recibió ¿Sí? los links, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Mira el chat? Sí. Sí, vale, perfecto. Sí, acá está. Ok. ¿Cuál era su otra pregunta? No, voy a comenzar por eso primero. No, no me voy a apresurar. Voy a tratar la manera de, de aprender a pronunciar las palabras bases y después voy a irme desarrollando. ¿Verdad? Porque sí había perdido bastante, bueno, he perdido bastante práctica desde antes de la pandemia que dejamos de ir. Entonces ya, oh. ya no practiqué por el trabajo. Y no me quedo en lugar. Entonces por eso hasta hoy es que he comenzado otra vez. Ok, sí, sí, dele con todo, entonces, si va a poder, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, practicar, pero como le digo, es mejor que va, es mejor ir lento y seguro, ir rápido y después que no va a poder pronunciar nada de lo que le están preocupan, preguntando o va a pronunciar súper mal. Yes. Es mejor pronunciar lo básico bien, porque estamos en nivel básico, no tenemos por qué ir con un nivel intermedio, ahorita estamos en nivel 2. Luego nivel 3, son seis niveles básicos que podemos tomar la ventaja de desarrollar bien los seis niveles básicos para luego ir avanzando ya. ¿Ok? okay es como okay. que quiere escuchar rap ahorita en inglés y, y lo va a querer repetir así y no va a poder. Se va a confundir y se va a frustrar. Yes, yes. ¿Ok? Perfecto. Entonces ya le envié la práctica eh, Alexis. Si tiene alguna otra pregunta me dice. Y si no, también por el chat de WhatsApp. 
por cualquier inconveniente que tenga. Ok. Ok, dice, no solamente, dice, voy a comenzar con esto y voy a tratar la manera de practicar lo más que pueda. Y de ahí paso a otro, a otro interrogante. <risa> ok, perfecto. Ok, perfecto. Alexis, pase buena noche entonces. Thank You're you. welcome. Bye bye. Bye.